Let's go through the run game for the Eagles against the Giants and focus a little bit on Miles Sanders and, of course, in the offensive lineman here. First play that the uh, Eagles are running is a power to the left side. So you're going to have Matt Pryor. He's going to shoot for the backside B gap here and meet on the uh, linebacker while Dallas Goddard is going to seal off the backside. So you got Dallas Goddard sealing off there. You got everyone down blocking to the right side. Matt Pryor is going to go up and hit the linebacker. Now it's a little bit of a weak block. He could have delivered a lot more umph into this block. But Miles Sanders finds the gap right in there uh, in the new B gap for a solid gain. Next play is with Jalen Hurts. It's uh, it's a zone read. So basically for Hurts, this play is designed for him to read the defensive end. And um, if the defensive end is going to stall, as he's doing right here and key on the quarterback, he will deliver the ball to Miles Sanders. If not, then he'll keep the ball himself. Everyone is going to down block to the left side here, or zone block basically to the left side. But Lynn Johnson will be the key player here, because as he is reading that the defensive end is going to stand and key on the quarterback, he knows that he can transfer up to the second level and up to the linebacker, which allows um, which allows uh, uh, Miles Sanders to basically just run through a wide open gap right here. The stutter that he does when he gets the ball, I don't need that. I just need to hit the, the gap hard. Nevertheless, it's a, it's a good play. And a zone read once again, this time with Carson Wentz in a quarterback. And the difference you have here is that net right on this play, the entire line is just going to zone to the right side. So if anyone's to the half, uh, to the right half of the offensive lineman, they're just going to zone block that. And Carson Wentz is reading that the defensive end keys on the quarterback and gives the ball. So he's keying there, and gives the ball up. Miles Sanders is a good block from Jason Peters uh, to basically block both the defensive tackle and the linebacker coming into the gap. And that brings Miles Sanders free again. An outside power on this time, Eagles pulling um, both the Bat Pryor and Jason Kelsey to the outside here, left of our screen. You have the, th the two tight ends set. They're going to down block to the right side, or to our right side, their left, and Lane Johnson as well. They do a good job of comboing up on 51 and on 97. See, these three guys are clearing the area here. Matt Pryor and Jason Kelsey go up and take uh, 21. Miles Sanders does a really good job of cutting this inside where you see the gap is developing right there. Get, it's a smooth cut, and it's a decisive cut, and that's what we needed to see from last year, um, where he would kind of hesitate a little bit before making his decisions. So this run is uh, an, an outside zone for the Eagles. So everyone is gonna uh, is gonna extend to the to the right side of our screen here, their left, and the key block is on uh, 94, where they're comboing on him right here um, with Hasuo Peta. He's taking him on there, and then he's transferring up to the second level of the um, of the defense up to 54. But this is a man play by 94. He does not move at all from the double team, and as soon as it's only Jason Kelsey there. He pushes him back into the backfield once again. Now, credit Miles Sanders for evading the tackle initially and actually getting two yards in this play because that's a heck of a play by Tomlinson. So, next run is another outside zone. This one, uh, a little bit better push. A little Tomlinson is lined up uh, inside, so maybe that's why. Get a little bit better push on 98 right here with the Suo Peta. Kelsey does a good job of transferring up to, uh, to 54, the linebacker. Uh, and uh, it's, a, it's a man block by Dallas Goddard, who takes the defensive end by himself, allowing Jason Peters to get up on the second level, and it's a four-yard gain for Miles Sanders. So here we have a, a power to the left side. Now, everybody's going to zone block to the right side, and uh, Matt Pryor will be, uh, will be pulling out here to the outside. Now, theoretically, Jalen Rager's guy is uh, number 21 here, but he's blitzing, so there is no way for him to actually get to him in which case he does the exact right thing, which is go to the second level. Go to the next guy who is to the right of you, which is number 52. Pryor, who is pulling, has to know that the first guy you meet, you have to take. You can't allow a free rusher to go in from the side you're running the ball to. That makes sense when I play this, when I make the play here. And 21 is coming in. Pryor is coming over here. He needs to take out the blitzing DB. Rager has to come up to 52. Now what is going to happen is Pryor is just going to let this guy go. And then go up for 52, who Rager is already up on. And it's a tackle for loss. Strictly on Matt Pryor. Wham play to the left side here. The key block is uh, Dallas Goddard coming in. And you're holding on Dalvin Tomlinson right here at the defensive tackle position. Creates a big lane for Miles Sanders to run through. And he creates the most of that. The two-point conversion here. It's a zone to the left side. 
um, with Miles Sanders. Dallas Goddard is going to motion a little bit pre-snap. That allows him to get over there and seal off the defensive end. So Miles has a pocket here where he can just slam through it. Does a good job of that and picks up the two-point conversion. Zone right for the Eagles on this play. And so you got everybody zoning here. Uh, Jason Peter is just going to be seal blocking here to the backside with the defensive end. And 54 does a good job, actually, of shooting the backside gap right here. But m look at Miles here. The initial, the suddenness, the elusiveness, quick spin to get away from that tackle, hang on to the ball, and then just drive forward, get four yards on the play. That is initially shut down at the gap. So it's supposed to be uh, a power to the right side, uh, but the snap is slow. Miles does a good job of picking it up, being aware, picking up the ball right here, and following his blockers as they're coming over here to the right side and picking up some good yards on a totally broken play second and five zone to the right side everybody's zoning and as she's coming up here you, you see the linebackers here are fitting the gaps pretty well and miles does a snap decision here of bouncing this to the outside and winning the edge picking up the first down second down and one eagles are running a zone play to the right side good block a uh, good block by uh by jason kelsey initially to take on the uh, the the one technique defensive tackle before transferring up to the linebacker here but really it's miles sanders weavering through uh the lanes right here springing over good jump cut and getting the first down third and 18 it's a uh, shaded play i mean it's redundant it's irrelevant it's a zone to the right side what do you what do you want to get on a third and 18 i mean Power to the left side. They are pulling uh, Jason Kelsey and Isuo Opeta right here. Everyone else is um, blocking to the right side here as if it's zone. And it's just coming out here. You see that Matt Pryor actually hits his block. Jason Kelsey just lets this guy go. Uh, Got to pick up the guy who's coming up right here as that would allow Sanders to cut this upfield in between the blockers. But, I mean, he makes the first guy miss. and But Jason Kelsey falls down. And, ugh. Outside zone left. So he goes stretching it out here. Everyone is going to zone uh, to the left side here. Jason Peters needs to get up on the linebacker here as that will allow Miles Sanders to cut this one up field and actually hit this for a gain. It, but now he has to keep going outside and eventually Dallas Goddard gets um, lets up on 51 right here. See if Jason Peters actually hit his guy at the right time. <laughs> there might be a lane for him to run to. But Miles Sanders makes his first guy miss, as always. Second guy missed. And it's becoming nothing. But but really, look at the play. Jason Peters, you just get his ass up on the linebacker right there. There's a big fucking gap you can run up in there. Shame.